Went through the neutral zone and it was similar to Ekman Larson's uh, overtime winner, kind of a slingshot play and, and so much speed and really good that Benny found him because he was the guy that was able to open up. But yeah, he uh, he was good tonight. Good. Gus was good tonight and it wasn't easy for me. He had to fight through it. What is it about? Oh, the play leading it? up to the goal, sorry. The play leading up to the goal jumps the gap for the three on one. Not that many guys in the league. Well, he was gone too. I mean, he had to time it so we didn't go offside. He was. There, there wasn't anybody that could move that fast at that point, right? Some of the forwards that uh, didn't have much left in the tank, and, and he, he's such a fit man. He can get to high speeds even late in the game. The Capitals hit their first lead in the third period. What is it about your team that continues uh, to remain I don't know if I would draw a line, Katie, between this game and some of the other games that I liked. Um, got a good shooter. It, it, it was... Uh, they, they they win that game tonight. They're at that point they would be five points over three games in hand. So they're fighting for everything they've got, right? And their goalers did make a few saves. I just didn't think that we were anywhere near where we would like to be. I also know that in '82 you're not going to be. So you need to get the points when you can, even on the nights that you're not at your best. Um, we seem disjointed at times during the game. And we, we, we rarely are off script in terms of at least how we approach it, what we're going to try to do. But our four check was unusual. How much of that would you say has to do with missing a couple forwards tonight? Oh, I, I would, none of it. None of it. And then that's the thing. That, that's the, the importance of an understood system is anybody can play it. You get varying degrees of success, offensive success, the way you play it, but everybody would understand the page. So there's there's things that you haven't seen for a while. I, I, I still think we're working through scoring nine goals in a game. It just doesn't happen. And then all of a sudden, you you decide we're gonna. There's a different kind of offense that we can have, um, which is a good thing to go through. It's a good thing to. I mean, we're still winning games and and playing well and. Um, but each block of time, there's only there's been two other blocks this year, and they've been short. Where I didn't really love the way we were playing, and we came out of that hot and strong. And uh, I haven't loved two of our last three games, parts of it. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful to the other team. I mean, I think Ottawa has, has found their groove, and they're dangerous at this time of year. These guys just, you know, they just went in and beat Tampa, and they, they're beating good teams, and they're fighting for their lives. At the same time, we have a certain standard to play. I don't think we've been quite there yet. In Nick Cousins tonight uh, seemed to give you enough. Yeah, you good for him. You could have, could have, God, he's had a couple of those. Um, but good for him because it's been a bit of a grinder for him coming off his injuries and, and getting back to form. So, you know, a good goal in, in, in an area that he spends time. So, yeah, I thought I thought his last game and tonight he, he played well for us. And you guys haven't given up more than two goals in the past 13 games, 13 straight. That is... Pretty impressive. Yeah, it is. You know what, George? You tell his coach to stop being so damn grumpy all the time, right? Yeah. Just loosen up, you doorknob. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm talking about me. I know. Yeah, um, yeah I always want more, though. I, but you're right. We had good goaltending. Our penalty kill has been outstanding. It, it, it didn't get it done tonight, and that's okay. You, you want to have the Minnesota event where you give up a whole bunch, and then a night like tonight, and then you want the – 10 games or whatever in between to be as good as it's been. So Stenlin's an important part of that kill. Um, so we missed him on it tonight for sure. But you're right. You know what? It's still pretty good in Pantherland. Going back to Stenlin and then Kachuk, both mm. two guys who are missing on special teams, three of the three of the five goals were scored on special yeah. teams. How hard was that to navigate tonight? It's it, it's almost, uh, I mean, I don't know that it draft, we, we will look at the two goals that we gave up and say it doesn't matter who's there, we, we have a plan for what happened and we didn't execute, okay, fine. But what it does is it runs everybody else's minutes wrong. So I've got Barkov and Reinhardt who don't need to be on the kill as much as they are right now, but they have to be. And then Barkov takes the penalty. So uh, let me rephrase that, he got called for a penalty. Um, <laughs> and then, so it runs guys' minutes the way you don't want. They did a, they did a good job. Our, Special teams are, are good and they're fine. Matthew, in some ways, Matthew's the, you know, the puck goes through him so much on that power play. You really, you can't replace what he does on our power play. But um, Carter, big shot by him down the weak side. There's probably, you look at the elite shooters from that side of the ice, they're both going to be, I mean, we think Pasternak, um, Stamkos, both right-handed shots. It's hard to score from there. I mean, those guys are one-timers, and they score from there. Ovechkin, 
but Carter's probably got about six from there, and that's not far off what those other guys get from that hole as a, as a left-handed shot. That's pretty special. Tom Wilson gets a goal and an Emmy, something. <laughs> I'll leave that for you guys. That's, <laughs> you can uh, supply the flourish. You talk about Verhage scores a bunch against yeah. Carroll's, but nobody scored against the Panthers like Alex Ovechkin. You guys yeah. were able to shut him up with all the power plays. I think plays. we got him going, though, the last time, didn't we? Yeah, Not he scored did. on the power play, and we fired him up for a couple of weeks. So... Not the, at the end of it, it's almost all goaltending, in truth, because you, you he gets that through people off faster, <coughs> closing in on the best ever. It's going to come down to if your goaltender can get over it, and uh, Anthony got over on the one he needed to get over on. And kind of on that note, with somebody who's always scoring, Carter Verhage, just big goal after big goal, it seems like it is that. Yeah, he, uh, that's true, and, and that's been true for years here. So... I said, I, I watched the Florida Panthers play before I got here, and you get into the playoffs, and I had no idea who he was. You know, it's Eastern Conference, Western Conference, except he is all over the puck, and he scores huge goals. So anybody can have a good playoff run, but he's like that. He's, he's always been like that. Playoff hockey, the, the more intense, the more people in a small area, the better he is. Um, I think you just have to accept he's that good. I mean, when you first put him on the power play, you said he has to learn 